let's go over to the live assistant so we click here um, and we get to this part where it says optimize posts use the live assistant and you can see that in this case I have already optimized the post using the live assistant it says it here on the right of the screen and it tells you what to do right and it is that from from this side right here you can add a new post a page a media or a project that you may want to customize these are custom types uh, inside of the theme I'm using you can add a new post or a page directly from here and you can click on demo post so in case you've never used the Squirrely SEO live assistant before the demo post is a really great place to start why because it allows you to fully break everything that you see inside of the demo post so you can basically break everything that you see here without even caring about it because uh, everything is just handled by the live assistant and you don't need to worry about anything so this is a perfectly optimized article of course um, what you see here with these huge spaces this is a problem of the theme that I'm using this has nothing to do with WordPress or with Squirrely SEO this is just a really big problem of the theme and the way it uses the edit uh, the, the classic editor because this theme is based on Divi it's actually the Divi theme and it ruins a couple of settings right here but anyway this doesn't matter so what matters is that this is the demo post and you can actually start reading this so it says right here that this article has been 100% optimized using Squirrely's optimization assistant which means both Google and human readers will love it but if you were to delete the words live assistant from the title okay let's see what happens so that's also charging the promo link okay let's see so let's delete live assistant from the title hey uh oh this is bad so uh you can see that this stuff is not 100 percent optimized anymore you can hit an update and you can see that right now it says 76 percent optimized and that's because the title is no longer google friendly and the content is also not google friendly anymore and the keywords are not used in titles so a couple of these checks that are really important are not done right now and you can go here over this i and it will explain what you should do in each case so in the case of the title it calculates the right number of times your keywords should appear mentioned in the text and make sure you do not over optimize and of course for there are a lot of ways to do over optimization and for another way to do over optimization we have this task right here called over optimization and the human friendly check is the best way to ensure readability uh, and it's actually been uh, been applauded by the guys from elegant themes as the best readability plugin because it takes into account a lot of things that are meant for humans and that's why we call it human friendly because it takes a lot of elements from journalism from really great journalism to help you write the best piece of content that you can possibly write and stay away from stuffing keywords so everybody hates hearing the same keyword over and over again and the human friendly check will make sure that you do not exaggerate with your keyword placement inside the body of your articles now let's see so live assistants where do we have something with live assistant look at this right here uh, actually in the live assistant you can use this feature it's called split window this will split my window so that when I scroll down I can still uh, I can still see everything right here on the right side of my screen because the idea is to look is to give me advice as I'm typing my articles and you can see that this thing works in real time so you don't have to save drafts you don't have to publish you don't have to do anything because as you're typing the SEO live assistant works for you and helps you make the best piece of content that you could actually make from an SEO standpoint so you can get 100% optimization for articles pages and products in your WooCommerce right so because I've del deleted the keyword which was live assistant um, from the headline you can see that this 
got unchecked as well. And you can follow the advice because you can basically read the article, you can read the demo article and hear and see, read everything that goes on uh, with optimization. So I click this one and now I completely ruined it. And that's why this is the perfect thing to try if you haven't ever used the Squirly SEO Live Assistant before, because you have a lot of help inside of the interface right here and right here if you actually read the demo article. And then you have a lot of help right here and then over the I sections. So it's almost impossible not to be able to make 100% optimized articles. And once you're done, you can unclick this so that it doesn't split the window anymore. And now you have your live assistant like this. All right, now I will go back. Uh, this is the live assistant and this is how the live assistant looks like for, uh, for the classic editor. So the older editor that was available in WordPress, we are still using the classic editor on mo most of our sites. And now if I go back to live assistant, yes, I want to leave. I do not want to change anything. Now, if I go here, um, I can always go back and click demo post and play again with the live assistant just to make sure that I have uh, everything that I need for uh, optimizing perfect SEO articles.